So what's up guys? So today we're going to take a look at Centromatic Wheel Balancers. Go, go. Okay, so you get some information showing you how to install these things. Uh, I think this is a warranty card. Yeah. So this is what you get inside the packaging. Okay, so if you don't know what these things are, here's what they are. They're basically a ring with some sort of um, BB shot inside of it. And inside of that, they have a synthetic fluid to keep them from rusting, and I'm assuming moving freely all the time. And you can hear it. Okay, and one other thing, this number is actually for a trailer tire. The reason it's for a trailer tire is because they informed me that the ones actually built for Jeeps won't fit smaller than a 16 inch rim. So um, I had to get something that would fit a 15 inch rim, which is what I run, I run 15s. Uh, but they told me that these would work with a uh, 35 inch tire and a 15 inch rim. Uh, and so that's the other thing we're going to be testing is will they actually work with that big of a tire. Okay, so let's get to going. Let's get some tires off and get these on. And just so you guys know, there's the fitment. It does actually fit. It doesn't look like it would. It looks like it would have to go that way, but it actually does fit this way without crushing this ring. So. There you go, I mean it is tight in there, but it does fit. Interesting. So there you have it, they're installed, very simple process, that's why I didn't show you all the tires. Uh, you just take your tire off, slip this on your lug, on your studs, just put the tire back on, bolt it down and torque it down. Simple as that, really easy install, um, and they're pretty high quality as you saw. They are covered in something that came off on my hands, um, I think it's part of the galvan galvanization or coating or whatever's on them, so I just put gloves on, uh, just so I wasn't full of it, and uh, yeah. Just just be aware of that part. However, they are super high quality, and uh, I really hope they work. Uh, let me show you one thing, though. Okay, so this is the front tire. Now, on my Jeep, the rear tires have um, drum brakes. So this ring, if you remember, I had to invert it so that that little the dish was pointed this way. So the, the thing just barely missed the, the rim. Um, however, on the front, with disc brakes, you can point them in and there is no issue at all so there's that there's that little bit of information for you if you're curious about that you've got disc brakes no issue you got drum brakes uh your backspacing is gonna play an issue uh, or this dish uh, will play an issue will play a part of um, how these fit in there okay so now there's only one thing to do let's go for a test drive okay so here we go that's 40 the road is rough right here so we gotta wait till we get a little bit further out There's 50. I don't feel anything. Okay, so there's 75. Now the tire noise is definitely coming in. The vibration is not there like I felt before. Um, take into account uh, this section of the freeway is kind of bumpy. Uh, there's cracks in the road that we're filling. But none of the, the vibration I felt before is. 75, that's pretty good. 65, it's pretty smooth. I like it. I think they're working quite well actually. So uh, let's get back and uh, we'll recap. Anyway, guys, so there you have it. There are the balancers. That's how you put them on. Pretty easy, self explanatory. Uh, and that is my use of them. Or um, that is how well they worked for me on this Jeep with that big of a tire. Now there are plenty of other people who have put them on trucks and 
so they worked wonderfully on a truck and that's all well and fine uh, but these are huge tires uh, for this kind of balancer to handle and I'm super happy uh, that they did so uh, yeah that I'm, I'm really shocked that they worked I'm really surprised especially because it's a trailer balancer not really a vehicle balancer um, so they were right on the money with that. I contacted the guys at Centromatic and they knew exactly what to give me and this is what they gave me and said it would work with no problems and it has. Uh, with that, we are going to do a review of this, an update, and uh, probably not 3,000 miles, we're probably going to do it longer than that. Um, I'm probably going to run it for 9, 10 months, then I'll do a recap of this and uh, see where they are at that point. Uh, that way you guys can get a feel for what it's like long term, not just one day. Uh, that way it'll give me a lot of environment to push it through, um, lots of road miles and lots of off-road miles to see if they'll handle it off-road, which is a, a pretty big question actually, if they're fluid filled, uh, can rocks ding them in there? Um, you know, logic would say no because they're inside the rim. But we all know that funny things happen when you're off-road, so you know, what if a rock does bounce in there? Is it going to ding it? Is that going to affect it? Um, how, how tough are they actually going to be? Um, we all know off-roading does crazy things to vehicles, so uh, we're going to push it for a lot of miles through a lot of trips and see how they fully hold up, and that's going to be the long-term review down the road. Uh, anyway, guys, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. If you like what's going on the channel, hit subscribe down below. Uh, and if you really enjoyed the video, hit share. I really appreciate it. It really helps the channel out. I hope you guys really enjoyed the, the, ch the video. I really uh, like making these videos and um, really like doing this kind of stuff because it helps more than just me out. Anyone running these size of tires uh, can get help from this. So if you guys have any questions, hit the comments down below. Thank you for watching. We'll see you later.